Hi friends, welcome back to channel SciTechCut. In this video, I am going to compare the Realme UI 3.0 versus Mi UI 12.5 in terms of the floating window of features. Yes friends, right now I do have the Realme UI 3.0 installed in the Realme GT device. So this is the early access update for the Realme GT users that it receive, which is the Realme UI 3.0. So right now let me try to compare the floating window features with the Realme UI versus Mi UI 12.5 which I am trying to use in my Mi 11 device. As you can see friends clearly, Mi UI 12.5.13. This is the latest version which I'm trying to use in this device. So that's what I'm going to exactly compare between the Realme UI versus Mi UI. How the both different UIs are actually implementing the floating window option. So first for example let me do a couple of applications. So starting with the Google Chrome application. So definitely friends YouTube is not supported at this moment with the floating window. But you can actually open the YouTube in the Google Chrome and you can actually watch the floating window. That's also possible in both phones. That's uh, right now let me need to show you how to activate the floating window in both phones so in the realme ui you can actually activate the floating window if you're trying to use the full screen gestures okay if you're trying to use the navigation bar buttons it doesn't work but if you're trying to use the full screen gestures you just need to swipe upside and just go to the till the top of the phone and try to release that's it so this is how you can actually activate the floating window feature in the realme ui 3.0 but in the Mi UI 12.5 as well, there's a same similar kind of functionality which is present uh, previously from long back, which I'm trying to use. So same kind of option which is present as you can see, release to add as a floating window. You do get the option. So in both phones, similar kind of implementation is there regarding the floating window. Not only in this way, you'll be able to add even from the multitasking as well, try to click on this one and you can add the floating window. Same thing applies for this uh, Mi, 11, Mi UI uh, 12.5 as well. Try to click on that one and try to select the floating window option as you can see similarly like this so both phones they do have the same kind of option but in the realme ui 3.0 you can actually hide this complete small pop-up window into the small sidebar so which i'll try to demonstrate if you try to push to the left or right you can actually see let me try to do that first as you can see you can actually store in the small sidebar so which won't interrupt any kind of content whatever application you're trying to use so maybe i'm trying to use a play store it, it doesn't disturb anything whenever i want i can just swipe it again i bring back the google chrome application as you can see in this way i can actually increase the size and decrease the size this also works perfectly fine you can swipe left or right wherever you want you can place this kind of sidebar so which doesn't interrupt but in the main ui 12.5 that option is not there so to minimize this kind of floating window you can actually minimize a little bit but not more than that that's also another uh, small thing which i was just mentioning as you can see which will be interrupting a little bit of content as well sometimes which you may feel actually in interpret in interrupting some kind of content so apart from that there is nothing much major complaints regarding this floating uh, window here and one more thing is that the floating window can be used anywhere on the phone i mean any position any uh, area on the phone doesn't matter what kind of area it is as you can see anywhere i want i can actually place this kind of floating window but in the mi ui it's not like that so they try to go to the corners when you're trying to use in the small window as you can see it's a small window which you can actually get it but it always move to the corners it, it cannot stay exactly in the middle but if you try to increase little bit kind of size now you can actually place anywhere you want the position as you can see friends exactly this is how you actually access and right now we do have the option to resize the complete floating window to big or small as well same options but you do get the very good haptic feedback when you're you're trying to do so this is advantage with the realme ui 3.0 that uh, the only one thing which got upgraded is the haptic feedback everywhere it's kind of integrated haptic feedback that's fantastic so not only in this one even in a lot of other applications also got integrated so in this way you'll be able to increase resize the application same thing for the mi ui 12 as well you can actually resize without any kind of problems as you can see this maximum you can actually go and full screen actually you can actually do it as you can see friends exactly no issues and if you want to close this application you just need to uh, swipe upside the application will be closed and if you want to increase big one you can swipe downwards so this is how you need to do it in the Re realme ui 3.0 you need to close by tapping on this small into mark as you can see friends small into mark so in this way you can actually close it that's it friends thank you for watching this video and this is a quick comparison between both phones regarding the floating window features realme ui 3.0 versus mi ui 12.5 in case if you have any other doubts make sure to follow the playlist which are created for the realme ui 3.0 there you can actually find a lot of tips and tricks and a lot of comparison videos as well that's it friends thank you for watching see you in the next video and let's do more updates meanwhile signing off and bye